Do you have a dark neck that looks like this? This is extremely common and this condition is called acanthosis nigricans. What's up everyone, I'm back. We're back. I'm Dr. Shaw. Dr. Maxfield. <laughs> Welcome back to our channel, Dr. Lee, where we talk to you about all things skincare and dermatology. Acanthosis nigricans is one of the most common things we see in the office. Let's talk everything about it, what causes it, and how to treat it. Everything acanthosis nigricans, here we go. Here we go. So acanthosis nigricans is such a common condition. We will see it every single day in the office to the extent that we may not comment on it every time we see it because it's almost a normal variation, but it's not. Acanthosis nigricans does have multiple contributing factors that cause it. And we actually see it more and more in younger and younger individuals these days. So it's a condition that spreads across all generations. So acanthosis nigricans, let's look at this picture together. So we're in an intertriginous area, an area of folds. Most commonly you'll find this behind the neck. The skin here is thick. It's elevated, hyperpigmented plaques, kind of with accentuated skin lines. And this is a very classic appearance where the diagnosis is clinical, but there are microscopic changes that you can find as well. Right, and some people will describe this as a velvety appearance. And even sometimes you'll see an increased amount of skin tags in the setting of this acanthosis nigricans. Now, a lot of people will say, oh, this person has a quote unquote dirty neck. And this is not a dirty neck. There are conditions that can create actually a dirty neck. We call this terraforma firma. Dermatitis, terraforma, terraforma, forma, terraforma, forma, dermatitis. And this is something that will wipe off simply with an alcohol pad. These are not the same thing. If you have a darker neck due to acanthosis nigricans, you are not dirty. There's something entirely different going on. Let's dive into this actual word because I think this is a common misconception even amongst medical people. Acanthosis means thickening, thickening of the skin, thickened skin and nigricans refers to the color of it, which is darker. The thing here that's actually happening when we look at it under the microscope, so if you take biopsies of acanthosis nigricans, very rarely do you actually see an increase in pigment. Sometimes you can see an increase in melanin, but very rarely. So a lot of times you'll see people online give advice saying, use a lightening and brightening agents. But like we always say on our channel, if you know what causes it, then you can know how to treat it. And most of the time, this is actually not increased pigment. It's actually increased thickness of the skin. And that increased thickness of the skin is perceived as darkness just because the skin is thicker. So what you end up seeing under the microscope is thickened layer of skin. We call that acanthosis. We see papillomatosis, which is like kind of indolating lines of skin. And then we also see hyperkeratosis, which is a thickening layer of the stratum corneum of the skin. So just overall skin thickness increases and a very little increase in pigment in some cases. And this goes to the heart of what causes it. Now, while multiple things can be involved, one of the common themes is this anabolic state. And this is a term I've used before when we talked about skin tags. You have hormones like insulin-like growth factor that contribute to the growth of something like skin tags, which is why you see skin tags coexisting with this condition. Similarly, acanthosis nigricans is associated with conditions that have an excess state or an anabolic state. So you can find this in the setting of obesity, metabolic syndrome. There are also medical conditions where you have an excess of cortisol within your own body. It can be from your glands, it can be from medications. All of those can contribute rarely very rarely this condition can be associated with cancer. And I say rarely because I'm not here to fear monger you. Most of the time, this is not going to be associated with something like a, a gastric cancer, but it is a possibility and that's what doctors are there for. We'll look at the rare instances, put the picture together and hopefully come up with something comprehensive. 100% it's most classically associated with insulin resistance, which you see in diabetes and conditions like PCOS. Now, in insulin resistance, what you do is you get an, a hyper or upregulated levels of insulin-like growth factors. And those insulin-like growth factors have receptors um, on the skin cells that can lead to this acanthosis and hyperkeratosis that's happening at the layer of the skin. You can also get upregulation of, of epidermal growth factors as well, but essentially it's that insulin resistance that often leads to thickening of the skin. And so 
depending on what studies you look at, diabetes is associated with the condition up to about 35% of the time. If all of a sudden you have this, it is worth going to see your primary care provider to see that there's not anything going wrong internally. And I think a, a key word there is actually sudden too. I think in any setting, it's reasonable to get it checked out, but a sudden eruption of this is actually, in my opinion, more likely to be indicative of something else going on as well. So with those cornerstone ingredients, like Dr. Shaw said, you have your retinoids. You have your retinols in a lot of over-the-counter products. Those can be helpful to increase skin cell turnover. You have prescription ingredients like tretinoin that you could use on your body as well. No rule saying you can't. In fact, it would be helpful. You have your alpha hydroxy acid family, glycolic acid, probably being the cornerstone, lactic acid with a little bit more moisturization. Then you have one of my personal favorite ingredients of all time, urea. This is an extremely functional ingredient that's very concentration dependent, and this will exfoliate remove dry skin cells, as well as bring moisture to the table. You also have other ingredients that exfoliate like salicylic acid as well. And then you could, if your skin can tolerate, I think mechanical exfoliation might actually be reasonable here because we're dealing with thick resistant body skin. Completely agree with everything there. Now let's talk about some product recommendations in this category. So when you're looking at retinoids, like you said, tretinoin is a great option. You can also use adapalene, which is an acne ingredient. So this is gonna be in your different gel that will help to normalize that keratinization process. Lactic acid, again, a moisturizing, hydrating ingredient. We can see this in product like amlactin, which can range anywhere from 12% to 15% lactic acid. That's gonna both exfoliate and moisturize at the same time. Urea, there is an array of, of urea products on the market. We're seeing more and more, but when it comes to exfoliation, if the ingredient is not at least 10%, it's not having that exfoliation benefit. So if it's just sprinkled in there, it's low on the ingredient list, it's below the retinol on the ingredient list, it's very unlikely that it's actually having any exfoliation benefit on the skin. So you're looking at about 10% urea for this. Yeah. You go 10%. They do have some higher concentrations out there as well. Again, you're on thick body skin, so you could use Ebenol, Ebenol. I've talked about them before, but they have a 40% urea. I think it also might have salicylic acid in it. So that's a nice body product you can try here too. And then one of my favorite products, it's, look, it's bougie. I get it. It is kind of expensive, but it's an extremely complete body product. It's like always right around. Wherever I'm shooting, There's it's there somewhere. Um, it has retinol it has alpha hydroxy acids it's just a very functional complete product for body care for aging and in this case for the acanthosis nigra cans as well we are working on a product for remedy it may or may not be out by the time this video is released uh, but i know it's coming because it was actually the first product we even started working on with remedy um, and this product will contain urea at effective concentrations, lactic acid at effective concentrations, and retinol. So we'll have three ingredients that will be beneficial for this. We didn't make the product for Acanthosis Niagara cans, but it has all the ingredients that you would need to help with that. So if it's available, I'll put a link below. If it's not available, um, then good luck. Um, these other products are also great options <laughs> and we'll get the job done if they're more widely available to you. That's pretty much it. You know, I really do think treating, this is one of those conditions where yes, like you can treat symptomatically the thickened skin on the body um, by using these products. But if you have an underlying condition, it really is important to go and get your labs done and make sure that there's nothing internally going wrong. Um, in about 70% of cases, or even maybe some more, um, there isn't anything else going on. And so you really are just treating it symptomatically and some people do actually grow out of it. So hopefully you find this helpful. Um, please let us know what conditions you want us to talk about next. Videos like this, where we're talking about different skin conditions that people have, tend to do really well on our channel because I think people are searching for answers and haven't been able to find them. So if there's something that you haven't been able to find an answer about please leave a comment below we definitely look at those comments and it helps us inform what videos we make next yeah we definitely appreciate your input and definitely want to talk about things that are relevant to you especially if you're having a hard time finding a complete thought on the condition so just let us know we appreciate you and uh, thank you for being on this journey with us thank you all so much for tuning in please like comment and subscribe we'll see you in the next video see you next time